the kitchen table with Gwyneth Paltrow. Her, her new cookbook is in stores now. It's all good. And it's an appropriate title because I've been all through this book and it really is all good. Bottom line, family fair, comfort food, made clean and tasty. We've talked about the kids' favorite recipes, but we haven't talked about the family. The kids, what are their personalities like now? They're so big now. My son just turned seven. My daughter's about to turn nine. I can't wow. believe how quickly it's going. But they're just, they're amazing. They're very sweet, compassionate, hilarious kids. I feel so lucky that I had them. They're the best thing that's ever happened to me. What is your, what is your daughter into? My daughter's very into music. They both are very into music. Um, they have a band together and awesome. um, they write songs. Uh, my daughter's very into fashion. She has these t top model books where she, you get to design clothes on. I used to have the color forms when I was a kid. I love right, that. Right, it's like that. <laughs> She's amazing. And Moses, you said, might be a budding chef. He's incredible. He's always with me in the kitchen. He, he can crack an egg perfectly. No shell. He hasn't since he's four years old. That's fantastic. He's always trying different flavor combinations. He's like, Mom, what if you put popcorn in, you know, with cheese? And I'm like, okay, let's try that. You know, he's always <laughs> thinking. Actually, one of his recipes is in the book. Um, it's called Momo's Special Turkey Bacon. And basically, he had the idea to take turkey bacon and rub some maple syrup and mustard on it and then bake it in the oven. So, and it's delicious, right? It's great. That's so cool. Yeah. So he's going to be like a rock star chef. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so... Band? They have named their band. I don't know if I'm allowed to say what it is, but it's an amazing name. I'll tell you the next time. Okay, once I next get time. Clearance. We have to get it cleared from publicity <laughs> from their PR department. Okay, I promise not to hog up all the time. We have a couple of audience questions. Where's Sandy? Right Sandy's right here, right? <laughs> Hi, Hi, Sandy. Hi, Rach. Hi, Gwyneth. I'm a big fan of both of you. Thank so you it's so much. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, Gwyneth, you're an Oscar-winning actress, and you've been in so many hit movies. And I was just wondering, what's your favorite TV guilty pleasure? Oh, my gosh. My favorite, I love, like, um, reality-based, not reality shows, but, like, hoarders or, yeah, right. um, like, documentary stuff. Although, I did watch this new dating show called... Even Longoria Show. I you went after the voice. I, I could not turn it off. With a musician. Yeah. It was so good. I was like, okay, I'll just watch till one more commercial break, <laughs> and I'll turn it off and go to sleep. I was, yeah, so that kind of thing. There's another great one, too. Donnie Wahlberg has a show about Boston police cops. It's Ooh, amazing. We've it all called? been talking about it. And what's the show called? Boston's, Boston's, Boston's Finest. Finest. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it is so funny. It is so real and just in your face. It's awesome. Okay. You have to DVR yeah, it. I'll guess have that. to DVR all right. it. Okay, where's Liz? Hi, Liz. Hi, Hi Rachel. Hi, Hi, Gwyneth. I was wondering, what's it like being married to a rock star? <laughs> Um, well, it's great because he is a really, really good person and, um, you know, we've been together for a long time. It's nearly 10 years of marriage, which in Hollywood, that's like dog years. Yeah, exactly. That's like seven years. Um, and, you know, we've definitely had our ups and downs, but he's, he really makes me laugh and, uh, and he's also an incredible father. So the rock star part is just an extra fun. <laughs> Is, is he a good eater and does he help out in the kitchen? He's a great eater. Um, he's made dinner for me twice. But does he do dishes? He does dishes. Both times he That's made awesome. dinner, the fire department came. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. <laughs> um, but he does help me do dishes. <laughs> he's very helpful. So maybe just keep him away from open flame <laughs> it's just all right. Exactly. Keep him in the cold area. Yeah. He'll be gone much yet. <laughs> okay, where's Deb? Debbie? Hi, Hi, Debbie. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Gwyneth. How are you? Good. How are you? My name is Debbie Sunshine. and just Really? Like for real? It's for real. It's a married name, but it's for real. That's, that worked out good, though. That's a good one. Thank you. Just like you, Gwyneth, I'm into really into my healthy diet and healthy eating. In fact, I'm a dedicated vegan. So my question for you today, is there any advice you could give me or any cooking tips that will maybe enhance my vegan cooking? 
Yeah, you know, I mean, the, the book, It's All Good, has a lot of vegan recipes in it. In fact, in the back, there's a whole vegan week. Yeah, it's one of those menus I was showing so, you guys. So there's a lot in there. You know, one of my tips for vegans, um, especially in baking, I put veganaise, which is like this amazing mayonnaise. She hooked me on this. In the baking? I, you can use it as fat, like mm. in cakes and stuff, and it's really good. I thought I knew everything. <laughs> also... <laughs> This is my favorite thing I've discovered recently. There is the most incredible Tumblr page called Thug Kitchen. And it's like a gangster vegan chef. It's the best. That is hilarious. Awesome. It's brilliant. So I would check that out. Oh, my God. That is fantastic. <laughs> I can't wait to check it out. so funny. I can't wait. I can't it's wait. It's amazing. Uh, I love it when you come here. Please come back soon. I will. Thank you. I know you're busy. Just a few weeks away, May 3rd. I can't wait to go see that twice. When we come back, it's my turn to come.